Welcome everybody. What's today, Sharon? Benadorm Day. Benadorm Day. Three twenty-four in the morning, and we get our plane at. Uh, well, we got a book in at four o'clock, so we're at. Well, uh, bag drop offs at four. The Premier in uh, right next to. Well, about a mile and a half away from East Midlands Airport, so we're on our way down now, and uh, we're going to take you on a journey to Benidorm, so you can come with us. Enjoy. Luggage on the plane, and we've got to go through uh, security now. We're lucky enough to have the fast track pass, so hopefully, they ain't got to queue up so much. So, that's where we're going now, folks. But you got me started, I just can't. Right, just through fast track, folks. We're in a different column than everybody else. Look, just walk our way through now. This is where we get the old uh, baggage sorted out and go through the old scanners. We got our rucksacks on, so uh, they'll go in now. Right, that's that, baby. We're through now. What I've are we looking at now? I've lost it. What? Oh well. well, that was pretty painless, folks. So uh, we're in now to where all the uh, duty free is. Not going to be getting any of that at all because we're not interested in that, show, are we? Five fifty estimated gate. That's it. Yeah. So let's have a little walk through. You, we don't need anything here, do we? No. If anything, all I'd have is a drink. But uh, some people like all the old drink and all that. But I don't think. What's the point in taking stuff out here for the country? Well, of course you do, baby. I suppose not everyone's going to Benidorm. No, of course they're not. Baby, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely freezing out here. What's the time now? Let's have a look. Now, 5.39 folks. Absolutely freezing out here. Uh, half an hour away from uh, flying, so we're just standing out here, as we have been for the last blinking 15 minutes so far. Of hey? so it's cool. Course it is.
Right, we've got here safe. We're at Alicante Airport now. We've just found out we've got to pick up our coach at station number 43. Platform. Platform 43, yeah. yeah. So we're uh, just on our way to do that now. Yeah, flight was very good, shall we? Yeah, nice. First part of it was very cloudy. We uh, didn't see much, but uh, obviously when we got into and over Spain, we uh, see a bit of the scenery. Hope you see a bit of that as well. See 43 now. And we don't know actually how long we're going to take to get to the hotel, but uh, we're in the Prince Park Hotel. So uh, we get on the coach and we'll see you at the other end. Baby, we're here. Yeah. Yep. Right, we're just gonna check in folks and we'll see you up in the room. Hola. Here we go. There we go folks, there's a little um bathroom, let's look that door in. Oh, very green, Sharon. Very green, that bathroom. Yeah, nice and clean, look. Oh, look, there's the arena. Hold on, let's have a look. Let's have a little look through here, then. Nice little area there. Oh, shower, single beds. <laughs> Is it all right? Nice little balcony, folks. Oh, my God, I've gone dizzy. Oh, look at that. Look at that auditorium over there, folks. Do you know what, Sharon? That's doing my Sweden. Yeah, when I first come out, I'm all right now. That's doing my Sweden. There's the pool down there. Where? I'm going to hold it. It's in the shade, so... It's Prince it's... Park Hotel, folks. Look, we're right over the, the side there. Yep, very nice. I wonder what they use that for. Concerts. There is yeah, a stage out there, look. If there's things on, you get to see it from here, Of course they? you do, yeah. You ain't, ain't got to get a ticket, shall No. Well, how about that, folks? The weather's not too bad. It's not hot. It is hot. No, not, not hot, hot, Sharon. Well, tell the people out there some baby. Of course I know that baby, don't I? Oh, hello. You stripping off? She's stripping off. I better turn the camera off, folks. She's stripping off. I'll see you in a minute. Well, we've had a kip, folks. We needed that because I've been up since two o'clock this morning. And uh, we're going to be going to a fish and chip shop, which the Mac Master did a review on. He'd done quite a few here. He'd done raise one, raise two, and raise three, Sharon. I think so. Didn't he? Yeah. And uh, we're going to try one which we think is, well, it looks the best, Northern Soul, S O U L. S-O-L-E oh, sorry yeah. and sure that. the reason for that is that we are uh, just off of the old town show and I think it's in yeah. the old town isn't it there's that uh, amphitheatre folks look at this look look at that look we look down on that from our room look what a fantastic thing show isn't it mm. so we just view. you've got street view show it's on your phone isn't it yeah so one of the things we realised was that Benidorm is absolutely massive, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. And we could have got a um, cab, cab when from the station because we're only about um, 34 minutes away from the uh, the, the airport. airport, Alicante Airport. But we went on the coach because we don't know what Benidorm was like, so we thought it gives us a good opportunity to see all around. Because we did, and it was good. Yeah, I didn't realise it was so big. There's so many things to travel here because all we've ever seen is the main drag, isn't it, Sharon? Yeah. Which is quite long anyway. But all the different shops and there's all street food and markets and stuff which, which we didn't know. 
So going on the coach, if you've never been before for the first time, although we was on the coach for about an hour and a half, I suppose. Yeah, wait for everyone to come. Wouldn't yeah, it? it was worth it because uh, next time now we'd probably get a cab uh, straight to the uh, hotel. And this hotel is ideal. It's in the old town, shall isn't it? Yeah, I didn't want it right on the front because of yeah. late nights when everyone's out. So from our hotel, Northern Seoul Fish and Chip Shop is in the old town as well on the front. And it's only about 950 metres, so Sharon's got the street view. So we're going to make our way there and we'll see you when we get there. One thing I've noticed, Sharon, so this is sort of the old town, isn't it? You can tell by the buildings as well. You get a lot of the uh, Spanish actually uh, populate this area, isn't they? Where they actually live as well, Sharon. Yeah. And one thing I have realised is you do get, folks, Loads of uh, sort of scooters and mo motorbikes and things like that. And also in the middle of the road, Sharon, yeah. which we can't see here, the cycle lanes are in the middle of the road, aren't they? Yeah, good idea, really. Yeah. I say they seem to have it cracked here for for uh, transport because, you know, the cars are, look like the secondary sort of form of transport here, don't they? Anyway, we're walking on, folks. We're getting down there now. How, how far are we now, Sharon? Uh, I've got 300 metres. 300 metres, just walking into the oh, old town. Oh, at the shop. Totally different vibe Look, bags. than the uh, main drag show isn't it, on oh, the yeah. front. And it's worth coming down here because you see you've got loads of little different shops here, folks. Absolutely oh, loads. There's a bakery there, look. Where? Look at all that. Let's cross over and have a look at the window. Cross over, come on, hold on, baby. So you're going to let us gonna cross? Let's go. Have a look in here, folks. All cooked fresh by now, that? Granier. And again, this is probably where the local ship show, uh, shop. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at them. Uh, that's a big dock sucre, share, isn't it? Sugar donut. <laughs> look at that bread. Doesn't yeah. that bread look lovely? Of course it does. And what have we got here, look? Oh, that's probably like a more touristy type shop, isn't it? But the smell's coming out of there. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah, more tourist. I do need a pair of sunglasses in there, don't I? Yeah, I've not got some of the first one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but the reason why we're um, going to that fish and chip shop, the one we're going to Northern Seoul, is because the Mac Master's already done the review, Sharon, hasn't he? Yeah. And he's already done the uh, the recce, so to speak. So uh, we know it's going to be a good one. We've seen the video. We are bumper. We'll give him a oh. shout out as well to the Mac Master. Uh, he's been here twice now, I think, and he loves it. So uh, we're not far off it now. We'll see you in a minute. A lot of our fresco eating, Sharon. Yeah. A lot of eating outside. Apparently we're about 100 yards from it now, folks. Right, we found it, folks. Down one of the little side rolls. And hopefully, we're gonna have some of this. Right, baby, you decided what you're having? Yeah, I'm actually going for regular fish and chips. Regular fish and chips. You're gonna have mushy peas or curry sauce? No? no? Well, I'm gonna have both. Well, I'm going to go for the large cod chips and peas. That's 14 and 14 euros and 50. And I've got to try their uh, bushy peas and also their uh, curry sauce. So that's what we're going to order. Just one more thing to notice as well, folks, that uh, it is cash only. So make sure you've got the cash if you come here. And you think they come to the tables? Yeah, she's up there. Serving. You've got to wait just walking around. So that's what we're, uh, we're going to wait for, folks. And no doubt she just cleared this table for us as well. Turn up, folks. Sharon had the, um, regular. the regular, which was 12 
euros and 50 and I've got the, try your curry. the large and you can actually see how much bigger it is. It's not just a matter of putting a few more chips on the plate, you actually get a larger piece of fish which is nice to see. We both went for the cod. That's all there is. And you just have a little dip of that curry sauce, didn't you? Really nice, that's really spicy. It is spicy. Mm. Brilliant. And one thing you've got to have folks is bread and butter to make your chip sandwich, Sharon. And it's not cutting them silly triangles, which I hate because you can't make a proper sandwich. Oh, you ate that, can you? Right, so, in with a little bit of uh, bit of salt on the chips underneath and on top. It's not going too mad because you lot complained the last time. And I'm going to put the vinegar on the chips underneath. And on the fish, I'm going to squeeze the lemon, which is my favourite on there. And I like it all over. Some people don't, but I do. There you go. Right, oh, lose that pip. Brilliant. Right, let's have a closer look at it, friend. Very, very crispy batter, really nice. It is crispy batter. Mm. Very light, now you've very, got that very light. Homemade tomato sauce there, mm. Sharon. Mm. Chug down the chip. And it is homemade, looks marvellous. Mm. Yeah? Mm. And you went for the garden peas, didn't you? So I normally go for mushy peas. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Brilliant. Wrong, so let's have a look here. They do look crispy, these. And we waited 15 minutes, which obviously means that this has been cooked absolutely fresh as well. Mm. Absolutely lovely. That's superb. Try that. The peas have actually got mint in them by the looks of it, sure. They look to be a bit minted, the, uh, the peas. Look at that. Oh, you'll look. like that. Look at that, look. Oh, they're good peas. That's not just the peas, yeah. That's the king of peas. I want to try a bit of this fish. Excuse me, fingers, folks. Sometimes it's the only way. So let's have a little go at that. Again, crispy batter, as you said, Sharon. Put a little bit of parsley on the top, a bit of dressing. That is so tasty. No skin on the fish either. Some people are worried about that. That doesn't really bother me. All right, lovely. I'm just going to try that tartar sauce. Oh, yeah. Definitely homemade, not out of a jar. There's no chemically taste with that whatsoever. And the piercer sort of resistance, folks. Get one of them. Get a few of them. And you can't do this when it's in a triangle. Fold it over. Look at that. Not that this ain't gonna fill you up anyway, it will do. I just wanna try that curry sauce, that's excellent. Have a go at that. Yeah, it has got a kick. It's more of a Chinese curry sauce rather than a chip shop curry sauce, Sharon, isn't it? Mm, it's anyway, nice. We're going to eat this, folks. We'll see you in a minute. That's a well cooked little fish, folks. Mm. 
Right, we're gonna eat this, folks, and then we'll come back to you and tell you what we think about it. See you in a minute. Sharon, what did you think of that? Excellent. I gotta say, it's probably one of the best I've ever had. Mm. Not greasy, nothing. No, and I'll tell you what, folks, even I couldn't eat it all. I could probably have managed the one that Sharon had there, but that was enormous, and I haven't eaten since nine o'clock last night, Sharon, eight o'clock last night. And uh, I couldn't eat it all. I've even left a slice of bread, which is a sacrilege. But in my opinion, Sharon, that is probably one of the best fish and chips I've ever tasted. Mm. So it's very hard to choose between fish and chip shops when you don't know the area. So all we've gone by is the internet, and uh, as I say, the Mac Master reviewed this place, and he gave it a 10. And there's no reason why this won't get a 10 from, our, from us as well. It's Sharon. a 10 plus from me. It's a 10 plus. And one of the biggest tests I find is, would you come back? Definitely. So you can I'll give jump us... on the plane <laughs> and come here for me fish and chips now. You could give it seven, eight or nine, whatever, but this is ten. a 10 plus. And if I was having fish and chips, I would just come straight back here. Once you found something good, you'd come back and have it again. Now, there are plenty of fish and chip shops here, aren't there? There's loads of eateries, isn't there? Yeah. Loads. But uh, this is cod, wasn't it? Mm. I, I normally prefer haddock, but in, in this case, this cod was absolutely superb and full of flavour and thick and meaty as well. Mm. So as a rule, I don't normally choose a cod, but this is perfect, absolutely fantastic. So if you get a chance, if you're over in Benidorm, it's just in the old town and it's called Northern Soul, as in S-O-L-E. As in the fish soul, wasn't it? S-O-L-E. And it's just in the old town and all we done, we typed into um, Google Maps. Mm. Northern Seoul, Benidorm, and uh, you just hit directions and it brought us straight here. And lucky enough, our hotel is in the old town anyway, and uh, 950 yards from our hotel. Happy days. Another place we're going to be trying tomorrow, folks, is um, Sherry's, which apparently do a great roast. Apparently, I've just read on the wall there, yeah, but these do uh, a great roast yeah. as well. So maybe try that. Oh, we're not here for two weeks. I never roast on a Sunday, really, don't we? As you can see, they do a roast as well. And also out the back, we're sitting at the front, but out the back there, there's a, obviously a seated area through there as well. And through the other side, there's seats yeah. outside You've as well. You've uh, got one, two, three tables outside here. There's more tables outside the other way. Oh, is there? Oh, right, okay. One of the other things I was interested in uh, trying, folks, was the um, steak and kidney pudding. And again, that's good value for money. The breakfast looked nice as well, didn't it? Yeah, we just see someone pull up a breakfast and uh, that looked absolutely superb as well. That's our findings. Let's go and uh, do a bit of investigation. We'll have an early night tonight, because we've only got here today, and we are a bit tired, and uh, it's a little bit cold, chill. Chilly, yeah. And uh, we'll see you a bit later on. Au revoir. But it's wrong, isn't it? I'm not in France. Of course you ain't. Right, so here we go, folks. Just down there on the right-hand side, that's where we just come from. Down the little alleyway next to Goris, Mannequin Piss, Sharon. <laughs> so, what are we looking for now? Sherry's, because we're going to book in, aren't we, for tomorrow if we... Yeah, Sherry's is a place which is, again, another one that the Mac Masters uh, reviewed. And uh, he said they do the banging roast, and we did see it on the video. It, it looked absolutely good, yeah. fantastic. So from where we're standing, Sherry, it's only four minutes. That's it. That's so I like. off we go. And again, nice, nice and local from where we are. So we'll see you there, folks. We don't know whether you've got a book, you see, so... Uh, that's the reason, because apparently it does get very busy. So to risk, not risk having to turn up and then get turned away, we're going to see if you've got a book. So that's what we're going to do now. Yeah, look at this, folks, look. Just turn off the main drag which we were walking. Look at all this. Look up when you're walking about, because you see loads of stuff up here, look. All the intricate balconies and the plants which people have planted up there. Is that an actual bird, or is that someone playing sound, music of a bird? No, it's a bird. Sounds like some sort of tropical bird or something, doesn't it? Oh what? Bird cage. Cage? Uh, oh up there, that's what you can hear then isn't it? It's probably someone's pet Sharon. Well, I'll, I'll well we've only got about 200 yards to go folks so uh, we'll see you there. Right so at the end of this road, just on the right here folks, is Sherry's bar. So we're just going to pop inside and find out if you've got a book for dinner. It's like a little um, that's the sea over there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's Sherry's bar. We'll uh, find out and then we'll get back to you.
Right, that's it. That's already booked out. Half two. So half two tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to um, do a bit of a review on that. Oh yeah, look and forward to that. Looks, yeah, we did want to eat it straight after a breakfast because with our hotel you get a breakfast. It's bed and breakfast show, isn't it? Or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the car. We're we didn't road. go. We didn't go fully. Uh, Actually, fully inclusive and all that. Because yeah, for, for this reason. Yeah, look at this, folks. Oh, look. Benedorm. What's going up there? You want to go up there? That's why I feel Benedorm, isn't it? Oh, you love Benedorm, don't you? Here we oh, go, I folks. Do. Look at this. Look. You can't beat this, can you? It's absolutely fantastic. Look. We're just looking at the Mediterranean now. Look, and there's people down there on the beach already. Look. Absolutely superb. Look. What a lovely little cove. Look. And this is the other end where they filmed uh, a lot of the scenes in Benidorm. So let's take a little walk up there, shall we? There we go, just coming around here. There's a big anchor there, Sharon. Hey? There's a big anchor. Oh, look, look at, at that face. Look at this little park. Look at that Piazza. face, Martin. Plaza, what's it called, this show? Plaza. Plaza, maybe? Sure. Look at this, look. What does this say, look? Look at this baby. Well, if you can translate that, you're a better man than me. Superb. Loads of people here, shall not there? Mm. And as I say, they filmed the um, scene with Les. Johnny Vegas. And Les, wasn't it? And Les up here. Making out this is an open air restaurant. If you've ever seen the series. Are, but look! Well, that's quite eerie, isn't it, Sharon? I like it. Look at that, folks. It looks three dimensional. It's a face made out of some sort of. Is it stone? I'm not sure, but it's flat. I think it's flat, Sharon. Come around the other side. Yeah, look. It's flat, folks. That's very spooky, that, isn't it? That's really I don't clever, recall isn't seeing it? that before, Sharon, do you? No. Anyway, let's have a look up here, shall we? Look at over there, look. Yeah, is that your main drag? I don't know, see? See, it all goes along, All the way along, it? all the way along there. There's so much to see here, folks. Amazing. Your colour matches the uh, tile, Sharon. I just specially for this. Of course you have. This is it. This is the sit where they've done the scene, wasn't yeah. it, up here? And isn't there an old ruins oh, yeah, here? Look. This was the old castle ruins or something, wasn't it, down there? Look at that, look. Right underneath on the edge of this rock. Yeah, so that's, I remember when filming there. And coming over here, looking out at sea. Is that the, uh, what they called the, the Doves Island, yeah. remember? That's yeah, what we've that done there, it, yeah. in there. Where the birds live, isn't it? It's like a bird sanctuary. And that's right over there, folks. Look, I zoom in a little bit for you. Look at the colour of that sea, though. Yeah, that's the fact there's someone in the sea over there, shouting there, some boats. Yeah. Or hat, no, what are they called them yacht things, aren't they? Ski boards or something? God knows. Marvellous. Right, so I think that's about enough for today, folks. We are very tired. We just had a big meal as well, so and I've got this edit this video so you can see it tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna shoot back to the hotel now, and uh, tomorrow is another adventure. So join us on tomorrow's video where we'll be having a, 
uh, buffet breakfast in the uh, park, Princess, Princess park. park Hotel. And also we've just ordered the uh, roast dinner at uh, Sherry's Bar. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye bye. Bye for now. Thank you.